Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in 25% of cells from several cultures derived from the amniotic fluid, the following choreogram was obtained. There is an extra chromosome shown on the lower right hand corner, most likely representing an extra copy of chromosome 20. The remaining cells had a normal number of chromosomes. This situation is best described as and you have to choose one of these answers. Let's talk what each term here means. For example, variant A, haploidy, means that normal number of chromosomes in the organism two for each chromosome. And haploidy would be when we will have only one chromosome for each pair. And we can get such situation when we are talking about, for example, gametes. Female gametes would be egg cells, and in Excel we will find only one chromosome from each pair. It can be maternal chromosome or paternal. So this is a random process. And also we can find only half of our genome in male gametes, which are sperm. So this is what we call haploidy. And monosomy would be a situation when we will have only one chromosome from uh, one of the pair of chromosomes, as you see, all chromosomes go in pair. But, for example, for the X chromosome, instead of, for example, in female case, where we expect two X chromosomes, we will find only one X chromosome. So the genotype of such uh, female would be XO. We call this XO, and this is going to be Turner syndrome when female has only one X chromosome. And this is going to be monosomy 23. In our case, you see this is male skeretype because X and Y chromosome is present. Next term, mosaicism, is going to be exactly what is described in our problem. Imagine that in some cells of the organism, we have a normal number of chromosomes. Let's say this is going to be cells which I show here with red color. And in some cells, early in the development of the fetus, we would have an employee. So we will have extra copy of the chromosome. In our case, this is can be chromosome 20. And uh, further on, this cell would also make copies of itself. And we will have tissues in some tissues we will have normal number of chromosomes and in some abnormal number of chromosomes. So we say that such a person would be mosaic. So this is going to be our choice and the correct answer. But also let's define other terms. For example, triploidy would be a situation where instead of two chromosomes for each pair, we will have three chromosomes. People do not tolerate such genetic disorders, but plants can be triploid, meaning having three sets of the chromosomes, can be tetraploid, meaning having four sets of the chromosomes, pentaploid, hexaploid, and so on. So this is what triploidy means, that we have three full sets of the chromosomes. And variant E, balance translocation, would be situation when two non-homologous chromosomes, for example, here we have one chromosome. By the way, this is not one chromosome. Here we see two chromosomes. This is going to be two almost identical chromosomes, which we call sister chromosomes or sister chromatids here. And instead of long arm of the chromosome number one, we have long arm of the chromosome number two due to non-homologous exchange of the genetic material and uh, on the sister chromatid here, we also would have this piece of the chromosome from the, say, chromosome number one. So this is going to be due to non-homologous crossing over. It is also called balanced translocation because uh, for the organism that has such genetic disorder, usually it doesn't have any uh, consequences, any defects, 
genetic defects because organism has full set of the chromosomes unless of course if uh, such crossing over would lead to damage of certain gene but if it's going to happen in the intergenic uh, space then we wouldn't be able to see any severe genetic disorder or any syndromes but when such organism would produce gametes gametes would be unbalanced and the next generation may have severe genetic disorder syndromes and usually if it is going to be large chromosome wouldn't be able to survive and this would lead to self-abortion stillbirth but if it's going to be small chromosomes such uh, because small chromosomes of course would have less genes on it such variants can be tolerated by our organism but would lead to severe genetic disorders and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day and see you in the next video goodbye